Yeah. Those go for quite a lot of money. I'm not disrespecting your price. Just, is the price. You can, what's that in there? Snez. 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 Here we are, hillside car boot sale. Let's see if we can sort something out here. How much is the set for the builder bear thing? Uh, three. Three, yeah? I think I'm going to get that. Thank you. I'll just put it back in there. There you go, thank you. Thank you. How much is the bank, mate? I wanted ten for that. Ten, yeah? yeah oh, it's lovely, but it's too, too much for me. Is I'm it? sure somebody will buy it. I'm, well, I, 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 I remember him from the from the adverts. Is what I, I was know, thinking. I've oh, I've got, got no idea. Um, yeah, make me an offer. Yeah, then. I wouldn't want to offend you, lovely. Honestly, somebody will, somebody will pay I the tenner for it. I've got three quid, I'd probably pay for it. Would you? Three. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm three. saying. Mm, okay, I'll do a five one, yeah. I like him, I like him. I know, I do, but I've just got nowhere at home. No, I, I, I get it. Yeah, he no, I remember. Made me, I bought him somewhere, actually. It's, it's, I think I paid about like seven or eight for him. He just made me smart. He gives you extra. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> thank, thank you, lovely. You. I appreciate it. How much is this, mate? Oh, is it going to make me super strong? Potentially. Fifteen quid. Fifteen? Oh, are they? I'm sure that, somebody right? will pay for yeah. it. I'm just too much of a tight ass. <laughs> I don't blame I don't like my biceps enough. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you got enough gaming stuff? <laughs> you look like you're into your games. I'll just buy and sell stuff, mate. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is the Jag you were going to be? 60 quid. Someone have, have a quick look at it. Yeah. It's got doom in there as well. I don't even know what these things go for, if I'm honest. A lot more than that. Do they? Mm -hmm. How much is the PSP? Yeah. PSP? Uh, 40 quid. I've literally just bought one. Are you, are you not set up yet, or is this you set up? This is me. This is you, yeah? I'm not that fast, I just want to get rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, do, you, do you get this sort of stuff all the time? No, this is my first car boot. I've held on to this for 30 years. Do you know, mate? I've been 30 years collecting all this stuff. It's all my personal stuff. I just don't use it. Too much to go through, isn't there? So much to go through. There's an easy way around it. Buy the whole lot and then... Yeah. Sell the job lot. Go on, let me hear your job lot price. 400 quid. 400. Make a good profit on that. What's in there? Just leads and stuff? Leads, yeah, mainly kettle leads and the, the yes, things. Oh, thank for. You. See what the Jaguar goes for, spares, repairs, just in case. That's, that's the only way I can do it. Yeah. That's the only way I can look at it, really. That's this guy, he's a gamer. He knows what yeah. he's looking for. Has uh, he bought at the gyms? Just took my arm off for a tenner. Of course he did. What's that in there? Snez. Snez. Games, duck hunt with the gun and everything. How much is that? That on its own? Yeah. 50 quid. I'll give you an offer, I've got to give you a cheeky offer. The offer and you can tell, you can tell me to, is the price. You can tell me to fuck it or not. How much just for More than likely. Uh, five quid. Well, they're 50 quid each. 90 quid. And and I'll stand on one leg while I pay you. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that, that'll do it. Yeah, no, 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 95. 95? Best old day. Right? It's the worst case scenario is. Worst case scenario. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Um, worst case scenario. I'll bring it back to a car boot, so I'll sell it for 95 quid. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, those go for quite a lot of money, as you probably just I'll have, to look, I'll have to look at, well no, this one here, somebody sold a spares or repairs one for 58. So in my head, if it's fucking, I don't know you from Adam. In my head, if this is shit, 60 quid back, innit? It's my money back. That's what I mean. But obviously after fees and stuff, you're looking at like 45 quid, but you've got to take chances, didn't you? Mate. That's the only way you, have to, that's that's the only way you can live. That's the only way you can live in life. I'm sure it is. I'm not. I'm not disrespecting you. I promise. But I have to think about it from like a business. Uh, business you know what I mean? How much is this one? That. Oh, there, a limited edition. Look at that thing. I know. Another tenner, yeah. 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 Go on then. 
I'm just putting the thing back on. <laughs> get a good deal off that red traps and stuff as well. What's that? That's that that. there as yeah. well. That's one of the games called Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. Are you, how old are you, mate? If, if you don't want me asking, how old are you? 42. Hey, you're looking well. So you sort of, I was going to say... I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, because I'm 36, so you're kind of my... Generation, yeah. We generation. Were, we were like 10 years, yeah. I'll pay you, aren't I? Yeah, I mean, I should have bought the whole lot of you, but... Uh... I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Right. There's another 20 quid. Yeah. Take all these figurines. Give these figurines. These magazines as well, Dark Siders. All these so, things. All these things. All this. All that. Yeah. Twenty quid. Yeah. It goes good. Oh, not this, because that goes with the console. It's the only game that goes with. Okay. <sighs> what about tricking that in as well? Console to oh, have you? Okay, no worries, mate. That's all right. So, no, I, pre I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get that. I'll, I'll get that. Is, that. is that for the console as well? Yeah, that's for the console as well. That's for the PS empty case. That I've got down there. Empty case. Oh, is it empty? Yeah, there's another empty case in there as well. But they, that could be the game there. Did I sell you the PSP? No, no, it's just here. There it is there. Oh, put some in half. You have to be careful at these places, don't you? You have to. Right, let me just move this. Eh? Let's see what you've got there. Take something out of the van. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah, they will. Yeah, I bet, I bet you probably would have sold loads straight away. Just check them before you. I'm just letting you know in case you walk yeah, off and no, think, and you think that fucking dude's been looking through this stuff and it's all empty. Just in case. Oh, you've got robbed you. What about add those to it for the 20? 20? 22. Got me. I don't really know what I'm looking at to honest with you. Do I care about that? Nobody care about that one. You can have that one. Here you go, mate. Absolute pleasure. I will um, go and empty my bags and come back again. And probably right, where's have the two quid? So oh, yes. No, yeah, I, I wasn't yeah. even trying it, mate. <laughs> hell. Come on. Listen, come I've, got, on. I've got more respect for myself than that, brother. Yeah, come on. Things get, things get messy. I'll empty the bags and I'll have to come and just, uh, I've got to come and check you back out again. Sweet. Happy? Yeah. Make sure nothing's, nothing's robbed. Yeah. Okay, no. That was decent. I don't think it's mega, but it's decent. Nice. I'll have another whip round and then come back to you. See what's there. He said it's negotiable. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's about, isn't it? How much is that one? Uh, it's with the little charger. The only thing's only with the cleaning stuff. Um, to be fair, it's not even what he needs anyway. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Saves you wasting your brain energy thinking about it. <laughs> I was kind of like, I really should have thought about this. Yeah. But, yeah. It's hard when you've got little ones, isn't it? You just <laughs> constantly <laughs> concentrate. Yeah. Just you like, my pass, just don't drop it. Don't yeah. Drop it. <laughs> Nobody tells you the brain power they take. Oh, yeah. so much. It's good though. It's all rewarding. Yeah. I like to think it is. <laughs> You'll see. I've got a 12 and a 5 year old and it happens. Is this your first? It's all good fun from here. Is that all you are here? Eight quid? I am. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, it is. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere off sold is always a tenner. Yeah, no, we're, we're quite the cheapest around. And we're a proper car boot. Proper. Um, six ones free, and we give a loyalty. Oh, there you go. And you can carry that forward to next year. So, oh, okay. so all, the, all the all the crap that I buy during the year, I can just come yes. back here and get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm telling. <laughs> Hello again. You right? How much is your clothing down here, mate? Uh, each item a pound. Pound each, yeah. I like, like, big graphic-y stuff, you know Actually, what I mean? I bought that in Hawaii. Hawaii? 
Yeah, I bought that in Waikiki. I remember buying it. Yeah. Hawaii. <laughs> so he's, tra he's travelled as well with them? He's travelled with I love that. <laughs> How much is the bag down there, the blue one? Uh, five up. Have a look at it, mate. Is it, is it a big one? Thanks very much. Oh, I appreciate that. that. I think, oh, sorry, mate. Let me get. No you got it? Sorry, Chuck the fiver to save the pound. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Shit, sorry. Hi, mate. How are you doing? Yeah. I don't even know where to begin. You've seen the footage. Let's just crack into it. I don't know prices on everything. I just know that there's profit to be made. So if you're really desperate to know the price and I don't give you it, you can always do a quick little eBay search yourself. Click the sold toggle and then you can see where you are. But some of them I know the prices on. First off, these. I don't know what the prices are. Adidas. 2019 Super Quartz. They're my size, so if I like them, I'm going to try them on. I just can't see me really wearing these. They're pretty. They're like a. They're a bit of a James Collects kind of shoe, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? A bit, a bit daddy. But maybe, maybe if I try them on, give them a shot, I might like them. But I paid just five pound for these, so I'm going to guess about fifteen or twenty. I need to get a new chair. I need a new chair. Fifteen or twenty. It just changed a lot on that because it's a bit weird. There we go. That's better. Ikea clapper giraffe. That was terrible, but it's called a clapper giraffe. Paid a pound because I Ikea plush tends to sell well. The bigger, the better, but not always great. Watch me, look, you'll see, watch, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my foot off the ground. Let me try lowering it. Didn't work, I'm still spinning. A pound for this Ed Hardy t-shirt. The geezer said he bought it from Hawaii, which means nothing to me, I don't really care. He just bought it from there. It's a nice one. Pound on that, big spell out on the back, big on the front. Got so much clothes, I could open my own Ed Hardy shop, but you wanna dry like you ain't cream before. I shop in a place you ain't seen before. Me and Strider, we can't forget it. You're too old, I'm too old. Five pound for this slamming North Face duffel jacket. Duffel jacket. Yeah, let's put my jacket on, mate. Duffel bag. No, terrible jacket. Five pound. It's got to be 20 in that, surely. Right, now to the stuff that I don't know too much about, but I do know I've made some money, apart from these bits, obviously. Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear Sofa. Paid three pound for that. I could sell it for about eight or ten. I guarantee if I list it unvented for a fiver, it'll disappear straight away. That's two pound profit immediately. But I think I'm going to see if Ada wants this for her little teddy things. And this I overpaid for. You're probably screaming at the footage going, no, don't. First off, she wanted a tenner and I said, no, I can't do that. So she said, make me an offer. And I was quite honest, I said, I don't want to offend you. Because I knew that if she sat off at a tenner, the price I want to pay for it, it would offend her. Offered her three pounds. She said, no, thank you. Fiver? I said, go on then. Howard, mainly because I remember him from the adverts, I thought it was cool, and I thought it'd be worth like 15 quid. People are getting like seven pound, eight pound, some of them 99p, but they're auctions. Who puts something like that on an auction? When you're doing auctions on eBay, guys, you need to be very selective and careful. If it's very sought after, auctions will work well. If it's not, which this isn't very sought after, auctions are not gonna work for it. Somebody will spot it, be lucky, watch it, and do a bid last second, and win it off you for 99p. Just downloading all the footage from today. I've actually done it all. Amazing. Just done it quickly. This is how I managed to get content out so quickly, guys. I am double tasking all the time. Multitasking. Um, hold on. Save to photos. And I edit directly from my iPad, so now everything is ready to go. Once I've filmed this section, I'll send that across to the iPad as well. Chop it all up. So as you would have saw, I got down there and there was this guy that had a massive stack of gaming stuff. I mean, so much. To the point where he actually offered me everything for £400. And if the stuff that I did buy works, then retrospectively, I should have bought it all. But it all looked like it had been sat in a garage for so long. Some of it's like got damp cardboards and stuff like that. And some magazines are all crinkled. Like you'll see what I mean, just as an example. So I don't know the status of it all. But I was willing to take a chance on what I did. I think I spent like 130 with them, 140, something like that. So let's just go through it all together. So for £20, I brought a prototype Alex Mercer, a small one and a big one. One's on the card, but just see what I mean? It just looks like it's been like changing elements after a while, like in a garage, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, which causes things like that. We've got a smaller one and a bigger one. Is it Sam? I can't remember his name. I think it's Sam. Dark Void on the card, but off the card. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, little key ring set. 
Grand Theft Auto, the original, but the case is smashed. However, I can replace the case, not a problem. So that's pretty decent. Fired up on the PSP. We had loads of stuff, I left loads there. Trust me, I could have made bank and brought it all, but I didn't. And some of you are gonna be screaming at me on the footage. Why didn't you? For example, he wanted, I'll tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell you in a minute. Fast and Furious for the PSP. Sealed, I brought that because it's the first film, so I thought it might be worth it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packets of these Tekken 5 limited edition character cards. And a Red Faction Gorilla little figure thing here. So I mean about the packaging, like hot, cold, hot, cold. Pandora's box. So for all of that, I spent £20 for them ones. I've no idea how much Grand Theft Auto goes for at the moment. Oh, and I got this as well, Dawn of War keyring. But I think GTA is probably like eight to 12, I think. I think somebody's got 12 for this one when I looked, and that's a bigger one, unpackaged, so probably about the same size, same price. Somebody's got 14 for that one, un, you know, open. Four pound for that one, haven't checked on this one just yet. And these, people are getting between seven and 15 pound for a packet, so I don't know, to be honest. And I haven't checked that out. But 20 quid for that little lot. Oh, and also these as well. These seem to be selling pre-owned. 15 quid each. Dark Siders. Never heard of it. I've got one, two, three, five of those. Obviously the condition's not great. And these, whatever these are, I've got two of these. Let's have a little look, see if we can figure out. Little Lip Theatre, New York, since 1928. Or maybe it is just a theatre thing. Or is it part of a game? I don't know, because look. There's some mangery bits in there. Is that like a magazine for a fictional theatre in a game? We'll soon find out, won't we? Sega. So yeah, I'm guessing it's a fictional theatre in a game. All you gaming nerds better leave me alone. Don't even know what he's talking about. No, I don't. I haven't got a clue. I just know there's money. £10. Box is battered. Darkness 2, Darkling Statue. It's in there, the box is just very tatty. Got to try and get this out without finishing the box off. I did have a quick little while I was there, but I don't, I don't know if it's complete or not. Arm, arm, leg, leg, so that's good. Okay. And there's his stand, which is 425 out of 1800. I'm not putting that back in there because I've got to take photos of it in a minute anyway. But that was a tenner, so that's £30 room so far. And then this next set was 95 so £42.50 each. Well, you've seen what it is. I'm just going to show you, though, because there's some little surprises in there, some bits that wasn't mentioned. Haven't tested anything yet, though. But I'm, from what I've seen already, I'm going to clear my money back, even as they are. So we got a boxed Jaguar. Box is very tatty, and you see what I mean about, like, just the way it's been stored. So I don't really know the history of it, but it's all there. Two controllers. These did have pad covers on for the different games. I'll show you them in a minute. Two controllers, original power lead. And some of this electrical tape looks quite new. There's the other controller. Here's the console. You can't see any signs of anybody going in that, but I've never owned one before, never held one, never touched one. I wouldn't have a clue what one looks like, if it's been opened or not. Like, is there supposed to be any kind of security seal on the back here? There's a bit of sticky mark there. I'm going to plug it in. Not right now, though. You might see that on, on another video. But either way, I've got the console and the game that it came with, which is Doom. So I'm going to get... So I paid £42.50 each. Doom boxed. And it does have only one of the pad covers so we've got the two little slips in here the manual control pad cover and the game a little bit of peeling on the sticker just there but that'll be all right and the box somebody's i think they're going 29.99 on their own a lot like 40 odd boxed but obviously i'm gonna do some testing what i mean by this is if anyone who's never had an atari jaguar like me i'm discovering all this out for myself right now so each game so there's two other games down here that was just shoved in the box that I wasn't aware of. So I'll show you those in a minute. But they all had little covers on as well. So I think each game you play, you put the game cover on, which this one here is Doom. And it gives you controls. 
but functions. Okay, I love you. I love you. I'll see you in a minute, darling. And the two games that weren't even mentioned are, which had the maps on the controller, Wolfenstein 3D, which sells for, can't remember, here's a screenshot. And Cybermorph, which sells for, I can't remember, here's a screenshot. But what I do remember is, those two cartridges alone, that was not mentioned in the bundle, pays for that bundle on its own. So worst case scenario, if the console doesn't work, I think you still get 50 quid for them spares repairs. Controllers are going to be worth a bit as well. But sell, I could sell the whole console if it's working with two controllers and the box in that condition for about 250 quid. That's what I've seen so far. So correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what the eBay solds show. So I don't know how wrong I can be. Which is brilliant. Very happy with that. And then... And then... I'm sure you know what's in here. We have a NES system. No yellowing to the console. Stack of games in there. You've got Lemmings, Parasol Stars, Super Mario Duck Hunt, and Mario and Yoshi, plus the Game Genie, and the gun for Duck Hunt, and two controllers, and power leads. But what this means is, my box one I've got up there, I can actually test that out properly because I've got all the leads here, take pictures of it working and then sell it without the things that it's missing. But I could show that it's working. So that was £42.50 as well. I'll get that back in just two of those games. Let me see if there's anything else hiding in here that wasn't mentioned. The case is damaged, unfortunately. The carry case. That doesn't matter too much. That looks good. Let's see if there's anything. This is, this is like the NES version of the PS2 stash box. No, nothing in there. But you used to be able to fit a couple of cigarettes and stuff in there. A little bit of weed. Hide it from your mothers if your mothers cared. Mine didn't. So I think I'm going to do very well on that bundle. Indeed, very, very happy with that one. And that was my second car boot sale of the day. I got there late. How was that all still there? And the bloke who was selling it, if by ever chance you come by this video, you're a top geezer. We had a bit of banter as well. It made up for something, but the, the last car boot I was at before, in fact, forget it, forget it, because I've got a plan for that. I'm going to get him back. Not this guy, the guy that I haven't, forget it. So there we go, massively appreciate you watching. We've got a fun one for today for once. I've got some work to do. I need to go through and test all this out and get that done. I also need to film the other car boot sale videos to so keep an eye out for that one and basically just do some work. I am expecting to get a lot of messages regarding this stuff, people wanting bits, but until I've tested everything, nothing's for sale. The figures and stuff will be though. Massively appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What, 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 what?